Hey what's up you guys, it's Austin of The Lone Few, and today I'm going to show you how to get the achievement No One Escapes Alive uh, in Mob of the Dead, uh, the new DLC for Black Ops 2 in the, uh, in the Uprising map pack. Those were a lot of words that I'm not sure I fully understood. Uh, but basically to get this, literally uh, you have to do the uh, kind of in zombie campaign sort of thing. Basically you have to build a plane and escape Alcatraz. Uh, is the main storyline or the main um, objective uh, in Mob of the Dead, which I think is kind of cool. They're adding, you know, stuff to do in zombies rather than just to survive. Uh, but this video is going to be broken up into a couple different parts because you need a couple different parts to get this thing to, uh, you know, run to build this plane. Uh, so at any time, if you want to click on the bottom left, uh, there will be annotations taking you to different parts in the video where uh, the parts will be found. Uh, or you can just watch it through to see where they all are and just, you know, get a general understanding of the entire uh, plot as a whole. Now just real quick, before we get into where all the parts are, uh, there's one small little uh, stipulation that you need to know. Uh, and that is that you cannot hold all of these parts all at one time like you could with the zombie shield on this map. It's more of the way of transit where when you get a part you have to then lose that part before you can go pick up another one. Uh, and so to put the parts down, uh, you have to open up the roof and actually place them on the runway, which is on the roof. Uh, and to do that, you're going to have to want to go to the infirmary, and right next to where the dog spawn is, uh, and actually one of the other parts which we're going to get to in a second, there's a fuse box, hit that fuse box, enter into the afterlife. I decided just to, uh, to zap Deadshot while I was there. Then you're going to have to go down the hall, and one of these couple of morgue doors will be open, I'm not sure if it's always this one or not, but I don't know. It could be. It could not be. Follow those uh, lines, those uh, arrows, and uh, I am a bit uh, special when it comes to jumping up and down on a uh, in afterlife. <laughs> but essentially, you get up to the roof, and then just uh, just follow this path, and open the door on the outside, and that'll drop you right in uh, in Deadshot's room for everyone to uh, to go and get through and then to place the stuff on the plane uh, you just go to this place right over here and uh, you hold X to uh, to add a part uh, it's a bit weird it's a bit glitchy for me uh, where I can't always hit X I have to like move around 40 billion times and you have to find like the perfect angle to look at the thing in uh, but it is there you can uh, add in the parts uh, and it's uh it'll be all good so now, it really doesn't matter uh, what order you get these things in, except for this very first one. In order to get, I think, all of them, you need the Warden's Key. Now, to get the Warden's Key, uh, you just have to go into, uh, into Afterlife, buy the Warden's Office, or the Warden's whatever you'd call it, uh, basically, and jump up into this brick in the wall, follow the path, turn on the switch, and that will actually open up the warden's office. Uh, it'll just open it up. Now you can go inside. And it's actually a whole other part of the map. I think Speed Cola is actually back there. If I'm not mistaken. I believe so. Uh, and anyway, it'll drop, the, uh, it'll drop the key. So you can get it. Or your teammate can get it. Or really anyone can get it. But it does not matter who has it. Anyone on the map can use it at any time. It's like a, a cumulative kind of sort of thing. And now when the door opens to the warden's office, there is another door that must be opened before you can get this first part. Uh, it's basically just electrified and you can't get into it uh, at first. So what you then want to do is go to, uh, there's this generator room right by the docks. It's between the docks and the, uh, the big tower uh, with the lift in the middle. And there's just all these generators everywhere. And you're going to want to go into the afterlife mode and just zap everything that is lit up. Uh, I'm not sure if these randomly spawn, which ones light up or not, uh, but for me there were two in the main room, and then there's also a door, uh, a break in the wall that only you can get through uh, through Afterlife, and in there there's also another one that you have to shoot. Uh, so just, you know, get rid of all those, and then the electric bar barrier will be gone, you can open the door up, and bam, there's your part. Now, after you have the Warden's Key, then there's a couple of parts that just instantly become, now you can have it. For instance, there's this one in the infirmary, uh, where you literally just go to this specific spot, uh, it's right next to the dog uh, spawn, and you uh, you just open it right there, 
Uh, it's just in a little showcase, and there you go. Then there's also one at the docks. Uh, this one, you just open up the gate, and then you're going to have to go back into the afterlife again and uh, zap this little uh, electrical box. Uh, then you're going to just have to revive yourself again, uh, go in, and capture it. Uh, note that this video is taken out of theater mode, and so the parts don't exactly appear how they usually do, but they are the things with the giant green glowy thingy-ma-do-hickey over them. Uh, they're quite simple to find and quite easy to, uh, to not miss. Alright, now this one is a bit complicated, uh, or at least by comparison, since these are really actually pretty simple. Um, basically, this one you're going to have to go into Afterlife at the top of, the, uh, of this lift here, and then just walk down to the bottom, and you'll see three uh, numbers to the left there, as you can see, uh, just kind of written there. And at the bottom of these stairs, there's a kind of fuse box, I'm not really sure what you'd call it. Uh, that needs the warnings key to be opened, uh, so have your friend open it or just open it before going to Afterlife, uh, and then just zap it the amount of times uh, to enter in the code. Uh, so, you know, if the code is 1, 2, 3, you go zap 1, then zap, zap 2, zap, zap, zap 3, and uh, it'll do that. Then the lift will fall down to the bottom, uh, and either your teammate or just go revive yourself, and then just run all the way down to the bottom, as low as you can go, uh, and then just keep looking left, you'll find like a little hallway thing to go down. It's a pointless hallway otherwise, just keep going, eventually you'll find where the lift fell, open the gate with X, and, uh, and take your part. Now this next one's down here in the laundry room slash meat locker. I have no idea what was going on at Alcatraz, but this cannot be good when your laundry room is right next to rotting corpses. Even in a zombie apocalypse, that just isn't very sanitary. Anyway, for this one, uh, you're going to want to go into Afterlife and go into this little, like, caged-off little area. Shoot this, um, this switch thing. Go back into your body. Then you're going to have to go back and uh, go to the actual washing machine. Hit X by it, it'll turn on, but the doors around you will seal. You cannot now get out of that room for about 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, and no matter where on the round you are, even if you have, you know, two crawlers just somewhere, there will always be uh, a horde of zombies that just come in at you, and you just have to survive those 30 seconds uh, and get through. After those 30 seconds are up, there will be a part in the uh, laundry room, or in the, uh, not the laundry room, but the washer, and just go and take that, and that is basically it for the parts, I do believe. Now, after you have all the parts, and they're all on the machine, and they're all built, and they're all ready to go, you just go to the rear end of the plane, you hit X, you hop inside with your buddies and, and past inmates, and you, you just go for freedom! And then the wheels turn, and then the turn, and then, 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 then you go, and then all of a sudden you lift up the, uh, lift off the ground, and you're like, yay! And then inspirational music plays, and you're like, whoa, yeah, we did it! And then Sal, and, 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 uh, Weasel, and, and whoever Ray Liotta's dude is, and that other guy, are all just like, yeah, woo, we did it! And then you hit a, a storm or something, I'm not sure what happens, but then just, Slowly you fall and you fall and you fall the no and then you crash and, and then uh, You're on this uh, other part of the map uh, then you're in a no-man's land uh, so to speak uh, On the Golden Gate Bridge the pack-a-punch is here. Uh, so this is basically the only way to get to pack-a-punch um, Which I don't know how easy this is gonna be once you know everyone you know once this becomes routine and everything, where every lobby you get into, people are going to be doing this or not. Uh, but Pack Punch is there. And basically, to leave, uh, you have to just survive the round there. You have to end the round there. Uh, there's actually an achievement um, to stay there for an entire round and just survive one more round. It's called uh, GG Bridge. And for uh, for 30 gamer score, you just have to survive there. Like, we, we got here on 17. Uh, if we lived through 17 and then also 18, a full round, which would be 18, uh, and then left, then we'd be all good. Now, to leave, uh, you'll see this, uh, you know, pretty hard to, you know, not notice uh, sign that says, No one escapes alive, uh, and under it, there are four electric chairs. To leave, you literally need to kill yourself uh, in that electric chair. 
Now, after you do this, you will just respawn back at the, um, back at the spawn, uh, and you'll be able to just revive yourself, and you'll be all good. Uh, you should keep all your perks and everything, um, although we both downed at, um, at No Man's Land, so we don't know for sure, but I'm willing to bet that you keep your perks, and you keep your guns and everything, and you just, uh, you completed the cycle, uh, so to speak. So, uh, yeah. That's basically it for this thing. I believe it is 75 gamer score. Yes, 75 gamer score. Uh, and that's how you get the pack punch and everything to work. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, there should be another Easter egg for this. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain that this can't be it for Easter eggs. It's just the objective. Um, but, I mean, there's still a lot to this map that we still have to uh, uncover. And we will eventually uh, find these things. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh... If you enjoyed the video, if it helped you, uh, be sure to leave a like, you subscribe, do whatever you want, uh, whatever all those big YouTubers say at the end of stuffs, uh, to make you like them more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I will see you guys when I see you guys, so see you guys. Peace.